Hey everyone, Aurelius here. I'm always on the lookout to find the latest AI tools, websites, and apps that will make you more efficient and productive in your workplace, business, or just as a solopreneur or creator wanting to get more done, work more smarter, not harder. And these are the eight that I found useful. Starting with number one, Canva AI. Not too long ago, Canva released a suite of AI tools all built into Canva. So if you've got a Canva account, you can very well access all of these AI tools. With Canva AI, you can code, write, design, make presentations, all sorts of things. And I'll show you a few examples here that are quite impressive. Okay, let's start with something basic, a logo generator. And you can simply enter your text prompt just like as you would with ChatGPT. So simple text prompt right here. And out come some variations of logos that you propose. Well, what about coding and developing? Well, Canva AI can do that too. In this example, we've got a meditation timer for 15 minutes and you can see that it is actually functional and we can see the countdown going, we can reset it too. And because this functions like an LLM, such as ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude, you can very well make refinements to your app, to your design, whatever it is that you're working with, such as this one here, where you can change the duration of what the timer says or starts with. In this instance, I'll change the timer to five minutes. In real time, you can see it code, and voila, we've got a meditation timer for five minutes. Well, what about this Spanish learning interactive game all developed using Canva AI? So we've got this wordy hola, and then we can see the English translation and we can go to the next card, uh, buenos dias, and then good morning. And I don't even know if I'm pronouncing any of these right, but you get the gist of it. One more example, we've got a presentation generator and I wanted to create this presentation on the evolution of AI and you can see the variations that it's come up with. And, and once you like a particular layout, the look and feel of it, let's say this one here, you can hover over it and you can see that the content is actually also embedded on each of the pages. But you may be asking, what's all this for? What's it good for? Well, what you can do then is use it in a design just like you would in any Canva design. So we can click on use in a design. We can create a website out of it, a presentation, doc or whiteboard. Same goes for any of the other designs and examples I shared. So that's Canva AI in a nutshell, really powerful, all built into Canva. Next up, we've got a pretty cool feature that is built into YouTube. So if you are creating content on YouTube, shorts in particular, you can use this very tool called Dream Screen. All right, so Dream Screen is actually built into YouTube Shorts. When you click the plus button on your YouTube app, you'll see this very familiar interface, right? But in the green screen mode, so right here, and what you do from here is you can use Dream Screen's AI generator. So if you look down on the left, you'll see this star icon. Click that once, and this is where you simply enter a text prompt. So what I'm going to do is enter a tropical beach and then it will come up and generate that background for me. And you'll see in a second. And here we go, we've got four variations to choose from. I'm just gonna select the third one. You can now use it as an image or create a video out of it. So I'm gonna click on create video so you can see that it's there's more movement, more motion. At this stage, just let it generate. And now it's generated a video version. I'm gonna click on continue. And now at this point, you can start recording yourself. So what I'm gonna do is hit that record button, just create a little demo. This is YouTube's dream screen. You can see the video that was auto-generated using AI. And from here, you can generate more and more images or videos, and this could be something that you wanna explain. Let's say you're talking about the history of Rome or something like that, something historical or about the world or earth, and then generate AI clips and videos using Dream Screen and putting it all together as a short. And next you enter all the remaining details of your video and upload it as a short. Next up is another product by Google and it's Gemini Live. Now, in particular, it's the Gemini app on your phone. So while we're on the phone, I might as well show you this uh, very tall. With Gemini Live, you're able to basically have conversations with the Gemini AI and show what it is that you want more explanation of. Let's say we're going to use this cicada uh, seaweed crackers and I'm going to grab my phone. 
Make sure you have Gemini installed on your phone, iOS, Android, whatever it is. The great thing is it supports 45 plus languages and over 150 countries. I see this feature as something really handy, especially if you're traveling and you're in a location where there's a language barrier and you want to look at certain signs on the streets and certain things like what's this, you know, what are the contents of it and all sorts of things, research, you know, studying anything that you need AI assistance for. All right, so let's head to my phone and I'll show you how it works. This is the usual interface of Gemini. You don't want to use the chat right away. On the right there on the screen, you'll see the star and the voice icon. So we're going to click that. That's next to the mic icon. So we'll click that once. And this is the Gemini live interface. I've just put on hold so that it doesn't pick up what I'm actually saying now. Uh, but what we're going to do now is just point at something that we want to learn more about. So I'll just use this once again. And by the way, you want to make sure you activate your camera. So that's on the left bottom there. What am I holding in front of me? Looks like you've got a packet of cicada seaweed rice crackers there. Are you looking for some recipe ideas to use them in? Or did you have something else in mind? Okay, I see the nutrition information now. Are you trying to figure out the serving size or something else? Based on the nutrition information, is this gluten-free? Yes. These cicada seaweed rice crackers are gluten-free. It's written on the front of the package. Did you have any other questions about this product? So as you saw, a pretty neat and useful feature of Gemini that's all built into the app. And that's a great thing. You can just take it around and anything you're curious about or want to learn more about, you can very well just start up Gemini and ask away. The next tool on the list is called Right Click Prompt. And as the name suggests, you simply right click and you've got a list of prompts that you usually go to or enter into LLMs such as ChatGPT, Claude or anywhere else. So you can see that there's a familiar interface. This is ChatGPT. If I right click, there's a new menu called Right Click Prompt. And you can have different categories that you set and have all these macros or templates that pretty much use all the time in your cases. So let's say professional communication, we've got an email newsletter template, click once and you've got the prompt ready to go on ChatGB2 or anywhere else. So this saves you time, not only having to refer back to prompts that you use in the chat history in the past, but it also saves time from you like writing it and typing it from scratch. Right click prompt is a Chrome extension. So you will need a Chrome to have this ability to right click with the prompts and you simply install it. It's free at this time. And on the toolbar, you'll see a new toolbar called right click prompt. And you, this is where you can set all of your prompts and modify them, create different categories and all sorts of things. So a really tiny and simple tool, but it fixes such a big problem. Next up, we've got a tool called URL to any, and on this website, it features a range of tools. Now these aren't AI based, but what you can do is enter a URL and do all sorts of things and convert it into all sorts of formats such as Markdown, HTML, PDF to image, QR code, to text, JSON and XML, if you're all into coding. But if it's URL to PDF, for instance, you can enter a URL. I'm going to enter my website right here and click on convert. This is what it captured. And from this point, you simply download it as a PDF. The great thing is URL to any is currently 100% free to use. All right, next up, we've got another tool by Google and this one's called Stitch. And by the way, I'm not sponsored in any way by Google. It just so happens that Google not long ago released quite a number of AI tools. So here we are. I just want to explain some of the latest tools that are out there. With Stitch, you're able to turn text prompts into interfaces, whether that's things like this plant care dashboard or a sales dashboard, or if you're working on a design for your website, you can simply enter a text prompt so that you can get an idea of what it can possibly look like. And the great thing is it is all chat based once again. So you describe your design and then you make refinements as you go along. For instance, I needed a quick mock-up of a dashboard for the software that I'm working on called Read Ready. And I just wanted a simple backend admin area where I can see the number of new users, the churn rate, you know, user growth, all sorts of things. And you can see 
add another metric, active paying customers, and then it added that metric right there. And of course, you can also design landing pages using Stitch, like this pizza example, and even app designs and interfaces like these here. What you can do with all of these interfaces then is take it to Figma, a design tool. So we can click on copy to Figma, take it to Figma, paste it all in there, and you've got your design ready made. This makes it easy to get your ideas and your vision of certain interfaces, websites, your perhaps a future software of yours into a, something more visual so that you can collaborate with your developers and your actual designer. This next one is great if you wanna generate presentations. It's called Chronicle. Chronicle is brand new. It allows you to turn text prompts into presentations in seconds, or you can very well paste any text and then it'll convert it into a presentation. Here's an example of a presentation that he generated for me in about 30 seconds. It's about startups and how to get started with your own startup. It's called Startup Essentials and you can see the slides that it's created and some of the various layouts that it's generated. To create a new presentation, all you need to do is either choose paste text where you create by pasting existing notes from anywhere. You can also generate from a text prompt, which is exactly what I did. And you can also import from a URL. So you turn a website into an interactive presentation. Let's say you wanna generate from prompt, click that once, you enter what presentation you want AI to generate. I'm going to choose one of the suggestions right here, such as a digital marketing trends report. Down the bottom, you've got a few settings before you actually generate it. So choosing the template, the number of chapters that you'd like, I'm gonna choose five chapters. How do you want it to be rewritten? It's multilingual, so you can choose from a number of languages too. Click on continue. It'll create all the content for you. You can see here, you can make refinements. You can reorder certain things as well. Add additional chapters, changing the theme from here. Once you're happy with everything, click on generate presentation. And here we are, the presentation's done. Digital Trends Unleashed. So it comes up with the title for you as well as the subtitle. And you can browse through the different presentation slides all here. You can edit your presentation by simply clicking anywhere and you can also insert certain elements such as headings, paragraphs, text cards, got images. At the top, you can present your presentation right away or you can export it as a PDF. And finally, we've got another useful website, especially if you do any research, you're a marketer, you wanna scrape data online. And this one's called Chat for Data. Chat for Data is a Chrome extension. You install it once. Once you've installed the extension, head to the website where you wanna scrape the data from. And I'm just gonna use one of my favorite coffee beans. In this case, it's St. Ali. And at the top, you'll see a toolbar and this one's chat for data. Make sure you pin it if you wanna make it uh, more accessible. And then in this chat window, what we're gonna do is just click on extract data from the current web page. That's the simple prompt that we can start with. And it's collected some of the sections from the website. And you can see if you go category list, it highlights what it is. That's the slideshow, which is the top. And this is the cart area, which is here. So let's say I wanna grab a list of all of the product names, the prices and the links to them. I wanna select and extract data from here. So I'll click on extract data from cart and it's found a few fields that I can extract data from. I'm just gonna click on confirm selection, which is pretty much all of what it's mentioned. All right, and here we go. We've got a table of all of the fields that I wanted. And what I can do now is just simply copy and paste it to a spreadsheet. So. I've got my spreadsheet app here. I'm just gonna start from here, paste it in, and there we go. And as you can see, this can prove as a really useful and time-saving tool in scenarios like this. But there we go, friends, eight useful tools that you can start using right away. Let me know in the comments which of these stood out, which ones are your favorites, and especially which ones you are gonna start using in your day-to-day. -day. I'd love to know. In the meantime, all the links, resources will be in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.